So this week we're going to be taking a look at the box for the G7. It has a place on the back, just some Velcro to mount a USB battery bank. And of course the SD card slot on the side to access the SD card. And a mounting point on the bottom so that we can put that onto a rig or tripod. At the core, we have a DC converter with a boost circuit that'll get us the right voltage that we need. And it has a little pot on it that we can adjust to get the voltage that we want. Here I'm gonna try starting by testing it at eight volts. This is the front of the box. I just got this from Radio Shack and then I cut a slot in the front of it. That's where our SD card's gonna go. And then uh, filed down the side, this is where the SD card slot is gonna be and then do a test fit, make sure that everything works. Then I'm gonna take some posts. We're gonna use that as standoffs inside the box and then go ahead and fit, make sure that fits in there the way we want it to. And then just using a T-nut, I used a soldering iron to heat up the T-nut and kind of melt it into the box and get a nice tight fused joint in there. And then once that sets, the way the T-nut is, it's not gonna go anywhere. And I just took my file again and filed it down smooth so when I'm putting on a rig, I don't have any wonkiness. And then I drilled a hole in the side. This is where our dummy battery is gonna get attached to. And then after pre-tinning the wires and the connector went ahead and soldered everything together there. Pre-tinning is important and making our connection. Then once that's all wired up, go ahead and put it into the box. And then since I used that barrel plug for the side of the box, I had to put a new barrel connector on the end of the dummy battery. So I cut the end of the one that was on it off and then soldered on uh, new barrel plug to fit. And you wanna make sure as you're going along, as you're soldering everything up, just checking continuity and making sure you don't have any wires crossed. Then I went ahead and mixed up some epoxy. And I used plastic posts in this case because I found it kind of melts and helps fuse with the epoxy so I get a stronger grip this way rather than using metal posts. And then just fit it into the box, put it where I want it, let it sit until the epoxy cures. You can see once it's done I have the posts in there, the wood's just so you can see it better. Here I've taken just a few pieces of scrap and put those together. That will help make a cover to protect our SD card extension cable. It looks pretty ugly right now. And a little bit of sanding, and it looks a lot better. Some nice rounded corners on it. And then some magnets, makes a nice, quick, easy to get to cover. Goes on quick, comes off quick. And then you can see in the top right corner there, I, I put another barrel plug, and that's gonna be for our cable to the USB battery bank. So once I put that in and epoxied that and that set, I went ahead and wired up everything and then screwed the board down onto the post. And then once that's finished, that's what that looks like with everything in there. So on the left, we have our output and then our right, we have our input. And after that was all set and I had my cable made up for my USB battery bank, hooked everything up to test that. And here it says we have eight volts. And just for verification, I went ahead and tested that with my meter. And again, yes, eight volts. And here on the top cover, I have the SD card extension cable. And I mounted that to the side of the box and then also put regular mounting screw for a quarter 20. And that's what I used to put the quick release on top of the box. And then here, making sure that we have the cable in the correct orientation, I fed that through the hole in the front of the box. And we just want to give it enough cable to get to the camera. And then I went and just fitted everything, make sure everything fit correctly into the box. 
And here's the quick release plate. I cut a corner out of the front there, and we'll see why in a minute. And I took off the screw that was on the side and added this longer one. And then here on the front for the SD extension cable coming out of the front, I just fixed it on there with some hot glue. And that just keeps everything nice and firm and in place. So going to mount it, first start by putting the dummy battery into the camera. I'll close that door. Everything looks good there. Then we put it onto the quick release plate and slide it all the way out to the front. And you can see why I cut the front here is so that I can get the battery compartment door open. And then I put my SD card extension cable into the camera and go ahead and close that up. And then I push it back into place and then with my long screw I can tighten that down and have that nice and secure. So here again it was at 8 volts, went and tested that out and found that nope it doesn't like it. This battery cannot be used. So I went and I boosted the voltage up to 8.5 volts about and tried everything out there. And when I turned it on, didn't have any issues, didn't have any error messages uh, other than no memory card, but don't have a memory card in there. So everything seems to be working good. So I went and I had to move over the mounting, the quick release plate because, well, I should have in the first place. I already knew that. So with everything now in order, went and tried it out, played a video off of an SD card in the camera, and everything seems to be working good. Then after that, it was just a little bit of black paint on the front, and I added some rubberized tape around the outside edge of the box. And then some Velcro mounted on the back so that I could put the battery bank directly on the box if I wanted to. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. I will definitely try and get back to you. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.